Hey, what's up guys? My name is Jesse. Welcome to JR Videos. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cool ESPN graphic that I saw a couple days ago and I wanted to recreate. And it's going to look something like this. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is make a new composition. Call this ESPN. Let's make it 30, about 30 seconds. Okay, looks good. Okay, so for th the first thing we're going to do is put in Element 3D, which is a 3D plugin that you can find online. Let's make a solid, call this Element. Element. And then next we're going to go to Effects and Presets. Go down to Video Copilot. Put in Element. Alrighty, size it up. Next thing we're going to do is put in the basketball floor texture. I'll put that on the project file and let's throw in the crowd too. Okay, let's size the basketball floor down a little bit. Okay, looking good, looking good. Okay, so for the second thing, we're going to have to go into Adobe Illustrator. Alrighty, so we're going to make a new document make it 1920 by 1080 pixels looking good press ok okay so the first thing we're gonna do is get a rectangle tool right here make it over the whole page okay the second thing we're gonna do is go to object go to path split into grid let's put about 25 for the number of rows and we want to make sure we put one in the gutter or else it will not work. And that looks good. So there we have our basketball tiles right there. Okay, so now we're going to move these out a little bit and just make it look like they are separated. You can do this however you want. You don't have to do this if you don't want, but it makes them look more like the ESPN thing if you do. So I'm going to skip forward until I get done with this. <laughs> Alrighty, so now that we have that, we're going to select all of this with the selection tool and go up to edit, copy, go back to After Effects, make a new solid. Doesn't matter what color it is, we'll call this floor. And we're going to control V to paste that on there. Alrighty, so we can hide that. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is add in our design for the floor. I made mine right here in After Effects. Bring that in. And then we're going to do the design and the basketball floor texture. And we're going to pre-compose that. Call that design. There we go. Move all attributes. Okay, so next we're going to go into Element, Effects Control. We're going to go into Text and Masks under Custom Layers. Path layer one, we're going to do the floor. For the texture map, we're going to click the design and the crowd. Next, we're going to go into scene setup. We're going to extrude the tiles. There we go, it's looking good. Set the environment. Uh, next thing we're going to do is add the design onto the floor. So go to bevel, go down to diffuse and then load the design. We might have to adjust some things to make it look better. Alrighty, so the next thing we're gonna do is go into environment and change this to the crowd. And it's looking good. Let's go back to this bevel and make it a little more Reflective, so let's set that up to 14, 13%. So that's looking pretty good. Next thing we're gonna do, press OK. We're gonna hide this design in the crowd. We're gonna make it a camera, new camera. 35 millimeters, fine. Press C to change your cameras. Okay, let's go to about. Mm, 
going a little closer. Alrighty, the next thing we're going to do is go into element, render settings, and then physical environment, and click show and BG. That will show the background. Next thing we're going to do is open element again, go to effects, element, group one, particle look, multi-object, we're going to turn that on. And we don't want rotation, but we want displace X, Y, Z. So let's set some keyframes. We're going to move that out to about two or three seconds. Looks good. And then we're going to mess this all up. Let's move this up a little bit. Move this out. Get this out of here. And you can do whatever you want. Just make it look good. See what that looks like. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Let's make the Y come in a little bit. Let's start this off a little lower. It's not looking very good. Okay, that's looking better. Then at the end, we want the Y to be about 0 0.06. So it's a little par, far apart. Let's put it at 0 0.4. Try that. It's looking better. So it looks like an actual floor. So that's looking good. It's a little fake though. You can see it all comes together perfectly at the same time. So let's select all of these keyframes and keyframe assistant, easy ease, see if that makes it look a little better. Also, something that makes it look a little better is if you change these out a little bit so they don't come together at the same time. Okay, so that's looking good. Next thing we're gonna do, we can close that for now. We're gonna change the camera, transform the camera. So we want it to start right here, set the point of interest and position, and then move over here. So let's take the camera Move it to this side and then wait a little more. And then move it back. So it goes back a little bit. Oops. See what that looks like. Alrighty, so that's looking pretty good. Another thing you want to do is add in the depth of field. This makes it look a little more realistic. Let's set the aperture to about 100. And then set the focus distance. You just got to see where it's focused on. Make sure it's focused on something. And as it moves along, you got to make sure it stays focused. Get that focused on there. See what that looks like. All 
Alrighty, that's looking pretty good. If we want to make the camera move back a little bit, that might make it look a little better. Let's not move so far away at the beginning. Keep it closer. Then we can go out farther as we go along. Alrighty, so there you guys have it, the ESPN intro tutorial. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please like and subscribe for more videos. I'm going to be coming out with a new TV tutorial every Wednesday. If you guys haven't seen my other TV tutorials, check them out here on the right and the left. Besides that, have a great day, guys. Yeah.